Hey guys, welcome back to Terraria, where after a bit of research, I have discovered that Calamity adds a lot to the game, a lot more than I thought it did. Now, take bosses, for example, and mini-bosses, it adds roughly about 40 new ones, so that's a significant amount. It adds, like, I think at least, like, what, 10 sets of new armor? And then obviously there's just the loads of other, like, blocks and stuff. Five biomes. Oh, there's a pig! The pig's back! Oh, hang on. Um, do I have the... I, I don't know. Which button is it again? That one. I'll put the pig. Stay there. Stay there. I think the net's over here somewhere. Just... It's, it's in one of these chests. Right, good. Now, apparently, I can catch this and sell it. Right, now, merchant. What will you accept for pig? Ten. It, it is ten gold. That's not bad at all. Now... Back to the uh, back to the video. Taking into account there are forty bosses. Today's episode involves taking out two, or well, one one mini boss. So it's it all it's all actually fitting around like an ocean theme as well. So there's two bosses, one NPC, a new set of armor, and a new sword. All all to do with the ocean. So the first thing we're going to do is build a house for said NPC over. I was, I was, I didn't think the dungeon was that close to the, uh, biome thing, but over near this sulfur... Oh, I suppose we could build it on one of these islands over here, because, basically, the NPC, as far as I know, gives, like, a water-breathing thing, so that's gonna be really helpful to explore this, um, sulfur, sulfur ocean or whatever it was called. So, that's what we'll do first. We'll go and build a little house over there. Oh, this is quite new, actually. A toxic downpour falls over the wasteland sea. Now, I'm fairly sure that only happens, or at least only starts to happen, once um, once you've beat the Desert Scourge. Now, what's, what is this thing? I can't see anything. But it seems pretty strong. Oh, no, it's dead. Right. Now, can I actually get to that island without dying is the question. Oh, Acid Rain is a boss event. Do you know what? On that thought, then, I'm going to kind of leave it, because I, I kind of... Oh, do you know what? No. I'll look it up first. I'll look it up. All right, as far as I can see, it's kind of like Old One's army in the sense that there are a few different tiers after you beat, like, a certain boss. But um, I don't think there's anything, like, crazy important that you get. And it's actually quite good because this um, basically upgrades the NPC that we're going to get. So it's actually well worth doing. Now, basically, all we need to do is, um, is get enough points to clear the wave. I can't remember how many it's said, but after we get enough points, it should just... Um, it should just go pretty much, or at least that's my hope. Now the only thing is, do I, I don't really want to jump in the water with the eels because I have a feeling that will get me killed quite quickly. Oh, hang on a minute. That wasn't supposed to happen. Caitlin the nurse, A, has arrived, and B is currently in the sulfuric sea place. That, yeah. Um, that presumably means that the guy who I want to live here won't actually live here. What's that? An urchin. Right, well, um, do you know what? How's about this? Oh, look, yeah, she is currently kind of dying, I think, and just instant healing herself. But yeah, how about this? We go and unlock the NPC first. That way, when we build a house, hopefully they actually move into it. Because it's a bit... Because basically, I, have I mentioned its, um, its ability? Because basically, it gives you water breathing. So having that ability, for example, here in the uh, snowy biome isn't really that helpful, is it? So ideally, I do want it to live over here somewhere. All right, if I'm being honest, I may or may not have just built another house for someone else to move into because the dry head sort of stole it. But um, yeah, let's let's just go and get the um, the villager unlocked, which we need to go to the sunken sea for, which is always apparently below this um, underground desert thing. So if we just follow this down, we should eventually get to the entrance. Oh, no, actually, hang on. That Stormjaw staff or whatever it's called just reminded me. We got some cool new things. So from the um, acid rain, we got this staff thing, which is a magic staff, which we're not really going to use, but it fires... Don't die. There we go. It fires some parasite thing. That's pretty cool. And then we also literally just got this. The Amidas spark from one of these things here that's shooting us, which it's actually really cool. Taking damages taking damages taking damage releases blasts of sparks it's just occurred to me my map isn't showing why is my map not on hang on there we go right yeah so oh that's actually just reminded me as well i mean t -t 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 I, we won't need them for the first boss we shouldn't need the um the thingies but this this will be pretty cool for um for boss fights oh here we go um the giant clam that is the first boss we're looking for i don't actually know where it is because i can't see it but pretty much the giant clam 
there it is there and it rarely spawns in this biome after you kill the desert scourge so it's actually going to start as a um sort of a passive thing look oh no okay don't touch it otherwise it hurts you but yeah if, as long as you don't attack it it won't attack you now i'm going to use this time to heal i'll go and get some air as well and i might actually do you think it's worth it because the next um the weapon that i want you get from down here as well what was that though volatic jelly increases the max minions that's actually pretty cool i mean we don't really need the wall spike thing because that won't help much and then what else do we not really need you know what? i might take this jelly off see what this is yes yeah, so now realistically what i can do is go back to this and spawn in another one there we go that's gonna be extra helpful now i don't i don't know if it'll despawn though that's the thing so i'm, I'm a bit worried about leaving it to try and find the sword i was saying that we shouldn't Oh, there's, there's one there. You need to kill those rays, basically, and it's a 1 in 3 drop chance, and it's a pretty good sword for what it is. But you know what? I might I might just go and take it on. And to be honest, it's just occurred to me that I didn't really look up whether um, whether or not it'll be enraged if you leave the this biome, but that doesn't matter. Right, there we go. Hit it five times, and then it starts the boss fight. And it's, yeah, it is a really easy one. There's one of its attacks. That's basically, but basically it actually only has two attacks. So first one, it teleports above you and drops down. Second one is it um, spawns clams. But it's that simple. First boss is done and that should unlock the Sea King, I think his name is, the um, NPC. There he is. Amid Amidus, that's what it's called. Who actually has a shot. I'm going to drown. Don't drown. I nearly drowned. Right. Heal. Good. Got some air. Let's go and talk to Amidus. Now, it's a bit annoying because I thought he spawned on the surface, but oh well. Now, why isn't he giving me breathing as well? Oh, there we go. I can't. There we go. Perfect. It's working. Now, he's got a shop. Flipper potions. That's actually a pretty good bow. A ca a Carol. A Carol. No, Carol. Cor <laughs> what am I saying? A coral cannon. There we go. Urchin flail. That sounds pretty cool. Amidus trident. 20 summon damage that's in that's massively bare 12 summon damage why would i ever go for that one yeah i might actually buy one of these i've got 15 gold yeah why not i didn't actually know i had that much um may also buy this urchin flail because it sounds really cool and i think it is a material so why not buy it this isn't the weapon i was on about though now can this it can't shoot through things can it no, it can't. Oh, but it can destroy prism shards, which I think are useful for something, aren't they? They are a material, and so is navy stone. And that just reminds... Because I don't... Oh, no, no, I can mine navy stone now, can't I? Yeah, right, no. So, um, I was going to say navy stone. It's useful to make something, but I can't mine it without a better pickaxe. But you can, once you just defeat the clam, I think. Or is it the desert scourge? I can't really remember. But yeah, let's go and try and kill this ray and see what we can get. I kind of forgot about this chest, actually. Is it anything good? Some flippers grants the ability to swim um surely they'd be better than the hermes boots underwater uh silver bars might as well take it don't need the recall potion though now let's go and see if we can find more rays there we go the the i can't even say what it is something shank 35 melee damage now that's just a normal one though and then you've got to remember it has shoots electric sparks so theoretically that was i was meant to say theoretically there theoretically this is actually better than the uh platinum broadsword isn't it i mean yeah the true 38 but still that's yeah it's it's technically better that's so there we go a new sword now let's go what should we do next i think the next thing we should do is probably to make that new armor set that i was on about oh yeah also the giant clam sort of respawn somewhere um yeah i think it's safe to say that's a late game weapon the dragon pow 739 melee damage quite quite late game and also reminds me these um sulfuric scales are actually pretty cool because you can make an armor set with them yeah there it is there which the helmet grants water breathing which is really useful and i'm pretty sure the full set has a um a bonus where it's it basically stops you taking as much damage as um in the poison place and you can make is that it the effigy of decay yeah so if you place it down it allows you to breathe underwater and you're not immune and, and you're not immune and you are immune to the poison damage which is again really cool um what on earth is that 
what what actually what what is that i was not expecting to see that i was literally just collecting starfish coral and um seashells for my um new armor set and um this this thing's here and you know what even though i'm gonna die to it i want to see all oh, right it's really easy oh that's not really easy apparently oh that might have been a mistake right what did i just do this isn't one of the bosses i was on about by the way i've no idea what this is yeah I'm not going to go that. I'll, oh, I dropped eight gold. No, I need to go and get that back. Okay, let's make this new set. So we've got some Victide bars, which apparently you only need 11, but I might actually make a, uh, a pickaxe with it as well. And then you do also get... 40? I didn't realize it was that good. That's actually really good. Let's make one of these as well. It only costs three. Yeah, that's insanely good. Oh, no, it's the exact same as that. Oh, right. I'm, I'm confused because I thought that only did 35, but evidently I've got something on here that increases my melee damage. But we need to make the helmet. That's the um, the melee one. And then shield of the ocean. Oh, increases defense when... um Increases defense by five when submerged in liquid. Increases movement speed and life regen whilst also wearing the um, Victide armor. That's actually, it's pretty cool, especially if you're fighting in war. That's a really, really good thing to have. But uh, we, I don't think we need that, because although the next boss is uh, like an ocean-themed one, it, is, it actually spawns in the uh, glowing mushroom biome thing. So it, it is and it isn't. Now let's make a few more of them. Why not? Um, so we've got that. We've got the helm. We need the legs. There we go. And let's make a pickaxe as well. There we go. And you know what? Should we make an axe? Why not? Why, why, we've got the stuff. We might as well just do that as well. That's a hammer. Where's the axe? Okay, so Crabulon shouldn't actually be that difficult because kind of like, um... Oh, it's, it's spawned up there. Because kind of like, um, the clam, it doesn't actually really have many moves. It actually has, like, three. One of which is pretty much that. It does that, like, three times in a row. Just jumps up and, like, drops back down on you. One of it is it will do those crab shroom things, which you can quite easily avoid. And then I think the other one, it just fires a load of the crab shrooms. I didn't actually, I thought that was going to do a lot of damage, but it really didn't. I mean, yeah, it's not very strong, is it? Oh, it does have quite a lot of health left. Right, it's going to do that jumpy thing, watch. Cause it, yeah, there we go, because it's slamming its claws down. That's actually quite an advantage. I thought having the um, grounds like this would be a disadvantage, but look, because its hitbox is so big, when it jumps, it sort of catches on the end of that, so it can't get you. And it's done, so Crabulon has been defeated. Right, did it give us anything else other than that um, boot? What is still hitting us? Oh, it's these shroom things. Oh, look there. Yes, and I forgot about that. These are actually the lore. So if we read it, a crab and its mushrooms, a lovely story. It's interesting how creatures can adapt given certain circumstances. Now, that one admittedly doesn't actually have very much onto it, but the Desert Scourge is actually quite, um, quite it's, it's, a, it's basically a paragraph. Fungal clamp summons a cl clamp, clump. Summons a fungal clump to fight for you. The clump latches onto enemies and steal their life. You. That's actually, if that's like a life steal effect that gives you their life, that's actually really good. And then a shroomerang. I mean, I might as well throw it. Yeah, it's a sh it's a shroomerang. Um, but on that note, I think we might just wrap it up because we've done everything I said we would. We've got the new armor set, which actually, hang on, no, I didn't actually look at it, did I? So it's not crazy defense, like defenseful. It's only thirteen. But it's set bonus. If you're using this underwater, it's actually a really good set. Like, it's basic. look. Movement speed increased by 30% when submerged in liquid. Then there's another one. Three, three, no, plus three life regen and 10% melee damage when submerged in liquid. And then it also does water breathing, doesn't it? Underwater mobility and slightly reduces breath loss. So yeah, it's a really good set early on if you're going underwater, which we probably will need later on, um when going to the abyss although it did say somewhere it did, oh no yeah no it that the underwater mobility and breath loss is for the abyss so we'll, we will actually kind of need this set well not necessarily this exact set but something similar to this set would be great but on that note i hope you've enjoyed thanks for watching i will see you next time